Hi, I'm Laurie Imbruglia and I've just released my fourth album, Scared of You, and I'm just going to go through and talk to you about some of the albums I love that inspired the songs or the sound of the album. Uh, the first one on the list is The Carpenters. The Carpenters are a band that I was raised on. It's a brother and sister and they're really dorky and Karen Carpenter is my all-time favourite singer. Anytime I'm singing a slow ballad, I'm just thinking of Karen and trying to be the best singer that I can be because she's awesome. And also they have beautiful harmonies and um, harm vocal harmonies are one of my favourite things in the world. So this is an album of theirs called A Song For You. I don't think they have any perfect albums because they've got like lots of filler, but this is a reasonably good one. Um, but there's still shit songs on it. Next up we have The Dictators, Blood Brothers. This is an album that my friend Ray from The Hard Ons got me into years ago when I worked in a record store with him. Um, they're kind of like a cross between metal and punk. Really great, catchy songs. Really amazing shredder lead guitarist. Um, and that's I'm lucky to have acquired my own shredder lead guitarist in Alex McRae for this album. And yeah, I recommend you get this. Faster and Louder is really good. Baby Let's Twist. Lots of good songs on that album. Eurythmics, Revenge. The lyrics are like really amazing, really um, angry. Annie Lennox sounds like someone's really fucked her around. And I like that the way that she expresses herself. Thorn in my side is a killer. And what else do I like? When Tomorrow Comes. It's got the miracle of love. It's, I've only got two Eurythmics albums, but this one is like way, way, way better than the other one. Love. Cocteau Twins, Heaven or Las Vegas. This sound is what I was really um, inspired by for the single Diptych that we released. Just like he heavy chorus and uh, slow, dreamy vibes and um, the vocals on, on this album and this band are amazing. Uh, recommend Teenage Fan Club I'm in love with Teenage Fan Club and yeah they've inspired the song CBT on the album it's a total you know tip of the hat sort of thing I just love that they all they all write beautiful songs they all have their own style it's complimentary um, and they just seem like really beautiful friends to each other and it's just a, an awesome band so this album um, songs from Northern Britain I just got recently, but it has um, Ain't That Enough, which is one of my favorite Teenage Fan Club songs. But these are the other two Teenage Fan Club albums that I love, which are Grand Prix and uh, Bandwagon-esque. Liz Fair, Exile in Guyville, a classic 90s album, just so understated and such a smart ass and the songs are just like really punchy. I think it's a perfect album. It's got 16 songs and there's no filler on it, which is almost unheard of. Nirvana in Utero. This is one of my favorite albums and uh, this really inspired the song Now I'm Mum, which is on the album. And I just think it's the best Nirvana album. And this particular edition has the Steve Albini mix, which didn't come out until it was remastered. And uh, apparently that's the version that the band preferred, but the label went with the other one. Um, so the Albini one's a bit rougher sounding. Last one, Steely Dan, Can't Buy a Thrill. Can't buy a better album than this, is what I would say to that. Um, every song on this album is killer. In my opinion, Steely Dan are like Ween. They use top-notch session musos. They swap out band members and singers depending on which singer suits the song. The music is very serious. The lyrics are not very serious and they're hilarious and really sarcastic and uh, Steely Dan are one of my favorite bands. And they inspired the song Tricks, which was the first single off the album. Thanks for watching. I hope you check out all those bands. And I've made a Spotify playlist so you can check it out those bands and some more songs that inspired the album. And I'll link it in this video.